Yo, what's up dudes? It's Dr. Love. Let's play Always Sometimes Monsters. Stop. Wait. Where the hell do you think you're running off to without me? I'm the boss, so you don't make a move until I tell you what to do. Got it? I thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, then we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. No, you ain't finished working yet. There's plenty of people I still need killed. What? What do you mean killed? What? Are you a hitman? You don't get a say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. You checked that privilege at the door when you signed up for this job. Here I make the rules. Here I decide what happens. That's what you signed up for, right? Uh... No. <laughs> Fuck that. Hey! What did I just tell you? You ain't going anywhere unless I say so. Look, if it's more money you want, all you've got to do is ask for it. Name your price, I'll pay it. Whatever it takes to knock some sense back into your head. I don't want any more of your money. I already have more than I need. Why can't you understand why someone might not want to do this anymore? Alright, just leave me alone. I quit. I quit my job. I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something we'll all regret. This background's kind of cool. Like the graffiti and stuff. Who the hell is that? Is that like a... A thief or something? Excuse me, sirs. Got a minute or a dollar? Hard times all around. Smelly vagabond fuck. Get the hell out of my way. We don't have anything for you. Oh, I've heard that one before. Probably from you, too. Different day, different street. Who knows, maybe we used to know each other. Hey, can you imagine that? Winding up back here again. Goddamn schizo, are you fucked in the head? Get the hell out of my way. Right, we gotta keep things moving along. Before you go through, there's something I think you ought to take a look at. Oh, shit. What the hell is this? Yo, you don't know what you're messing with. I kill people, bitch. Well, you might say I've been expecting you. Does it feel sim familiar standing on this end of the barrel? Oh shit, I know him from the past. Who could this be? Or would you feel more comfortable with your own piece drawn? Go ahead, I'll wait. Hmm. That's right. Aim it right between my eyes. What the hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? What do you say to giving mine a spin? I don't know what this fool's smoking, but if he doesn't put that gun down right now, you put a hole in his head. Of course, you can hurry this along if you like, and we can all be done with it if you wish. Like any of this matters anyway. I want to tell you a story, though. What about the many choices we all make? At the end of it, you can decide what to do. The only rule in the game? Let me finish. No interruptions. Then the choice is yours. Or we can pull the trigger right now. Sounds a lot less time consuming, doesn't it? Either way, the choice is always yours. Well, I wouldn't be playing this game if I didn't want to listen to this guy's story so let's let's choose listen if you won't put that gun down fine talk fast there are many roads between yours and mine but all roads start from the source yeah oh. you ever been dragged to a party by someone what if that party was life itself led by the nose, barely wanting to take part. Did you even have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you. 
but would you know the opportunity when it knocked? Fair weather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows this best. One such man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for someone special, important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. Yeah, the music in this game is cool. <laughs> I like this. Whether it was the right choice or not, that's still up for debate. That night they toasted ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. Is that me? Alright. Come on, hurry up! Or did you just change your mind? You can't invite all these people over and just leave me to take care of them, Larry. They're all weird. Why can't you have normal friends? They're all work friends. Writers, artists, wannabes. You know, like the one I was telling you about. Boss wants me to sign someone by next week, but I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. Well, just pick someone who's gonna do a good job. I don't want to get you fired over some fuck up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Yeah, okay, I love you too. Alright, alright, that's cool. Meow. <laughs> nice kitty. How's your evening going? Oh, Larry, happy birthday, man. Thank you. Is your night alright? Yeah, great party. Just sipping on this bottle of brandy. Did you want some? I promised myself I'd only have one tonight. Brandy's a pretty solid choice, though. It's toasted. Alright, let's drink. Give me a second to run to the patio. There's someone I want you to meet. Always happy to meet the ball and chain. Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be back from the patio before you know it. Oh wait, so now I'm this girl? No, but I, I, I'm still playing as Larry though. Larry's like my main man. What happens if I like talk to other people? <laughs> Look at this dude. This looks like a dude that I'd see at a party. You know, it was kind of freaky how suddenly my dogs changed their opinion of you. It's kind of suspicious, actually. Yeah, Jake, that makes a lot of sense. I hatched a covert plan in order to make your dogs like me so I could steal them away from you and live wild and free on the open road. I wouldn't put it past you. Can we please get back to naming this thing? What the hell are they talking about? The littlest hobo part deux? I doubt we could get the licensing. These names are terrible. What are you guys? Are, there, are they like making a, an indie movie or something? Alright. Hey, you still dating your little hottie? You two are such a nice couple. Yeah, Kevin, still together. In fact, that's who I'm looking for now. I'll talk to you. I'll talk at you later. Okay. Now, are you talking about her girlfriend or boyfriend or what? I, I thought I was. She was gonna get a girl. Hey, still keeping it real? You know it, Lynn. Real as it gets. I always keep it real. How's that book coming along? Hey, Ron. It's going well, still early though. In fact, I think I need to head out back for some more writing juice right now. You're here? How goes? Oh, hey, Joel. I'm great, actually. Things could, couldn't be better. What's cracking? Haven't seen you around in a bit. Hey, Juliet. Good to see you, too. I've been pretty busy with you-know-who. Speaking of which, I gotta head out back. Talk to you later. Alright, let's let's find this girl. Oh, I just want to talk to this weirdo over here. Who is this girl with the hair? Tonight's going to be fantastic. I can just feel it. Alright. That's cool. Should we go to the patio? Who are these guys? <laughs> Look at this guy's hat. <laughs> just keeping it real, Maliki? Yeah, you keeping it real. I'll be back to chat in a bit. Just gotta run out back for a second. Wow, everyone at this party is so hip, they're just, they're, everyone's keeping it real at this shit. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, damn it, there's a lot of people at the patio. They're probably all like smoking cigs, eating some burgers. Mmm, that chicken smells good. Eating that chicken. 
Who am I looking for? Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. He's waiting on us. We gotta go, though. He's waiting on us. We're going to toast that bottle we brought. That's amazing. What are you waiting for? This is the perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam were working on. Do you think Sam will mind me pitching our book alone? I mean, I'd be kind of pissed if I was left out of the negotiations. You can worry about that later. If you don't get in there and butter him up now, you two will be drafting forever. I guess you're right, but we gotta make it happen first. Come on, you got the gift? Shit, we forgot to sign the card. Here, give it to me. I'll sign it first. Alright, I named them Jeanette and Ariana. I think that's perfect. Let's do it. Um, yeah, yeah, that sounds perfect. All right, Ariana, let's go. Wait, kiss me first. What? Okay, so are they, so they're going out. They're like, they're dating. All right, that's cool. I'm down. They're they're pretty hot. Yeah, I'm down with that. Always, sometimes monsters. I think the name of this game is cool. Always, sometimes monsters. Like th that just sounds cool. It sounds like a like a My Bloody Valentine song or something. So Larry, before we toast, let me guess. You've got a book you wanted to pitch. Just hear me out. No need, Jeanette. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff. You've got talent, a lot of potential, but you're rough. I want to put a good word in with the boss. See if we can get you in advance. That's... that's crazy! Seriously, thank you so much! I'll get you something to show him in the morning. This is too exciting, let's toast! To ambition! To success! To getting rich! Who are you? Where'd you come from? Who's that girl? Um... To... To world domination. I'm all about it. To world domination. That sounds good. It didn't really matter who set things in motion. The landslide had started long before that night. This version of the story needed a hero, though. Would this be the one? What if I say no? Uh... Like, what? So, is he not gonna be the hero? If I say no? I don't, I'm gonna say no, just to see what happens. Sometimes the stories get crossed. They always seem to start the same, though. Um... Oh, okay. Is this... Oh, okay. So, it starts over again if, I, if you say no. Okay, I'll say yes next time. Alright. So I just redid the same, all the same options and stuff, all the same decisions. I'm gonna say yes this time. Let's do it. This is the one. This is the one guy. Okay, one year later. Dubstown apartment. What are they doing? Are they, are they doing it? Are they having sex? Oh no no no! They're sleeping. Someone's sleeping. Okay, never mind. so early who's at my door who could it be I'm so tired I just want to sleep choice is an evaluation of cost and benefit circumstance dictates the eva the evaluation consequence takes care of the rest in this system there can be no right or wrong all right I'm gonna take your word for it what time did I get in last night? Shit! Looks like my Peeble sleep monitor got reset. I gotta get to sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to earning my one month circadian master sleep achievement. Let me just cycle through the modes and rest and reset this thing. Uh... Shit, okay. Is that right? Did I do it right? There we go, all set. 
They say the longest journey starts with a single step. I don't know what that was about. I don't know if I did it right. I was just pressing buttons. I hope that doesn't... That's not bad. Oh, man. Organ trail. <laughs> Alright. Is that supposed to be like Oregon Trail? Okay. Pizza pouches. I took three pizza pouches. Place in microwave for two minutes, like cool for 30 seconds. Um, yeah, I've been eating a lot of those in real life. Dirty clothes are the least of my concern right now. Okay. I'm just checking out a room. Oh, I can play darts? Alright, that's cool. Can I, like, look at my... Uh, no, I guess I can't look at my desk. That's... That's fine. Alright, let's go. Someone's at my door. Looks like there's a few notes under my door. Tenant of apartment 104. Your rent has not been received as of this notice. As a result, and according to your lease, this balance must be paid immediately, or you will be evicted at the convenience of your landlord. Your current balance is $500. This entire balance must be paid immediately to avoid further, further action. This is a serious matter and your urgent attention is required. Failure to act in a prompt fashion will leave you responsible for additional charges such as court and attorney's fees. What? Your credit rating may also be affected. Please speak with building management as soon as possible to avoid further issue. Oh man, I'm 30 days overdue. <laughs> They're calling me a deadbeat. Alright, it's always something, isn't it? Came to see if you wanted to get coffee. Best work uh, at the Phoenix, but you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I vouched for you, and my manager hates slackers. Who is that? Dor Dorkef? Well, at least I've got a job for today. You grabbed your apartment key. Okay, can't forget that. Can't forget my bank card. I see there's an old lady there. Should I knock on these other doors? Yeah, let's look through the keyhole. Oh my god, someone's having sex. What? That's crazy. <laughs> Alright. Shocking. Let's look through this one. What's that guy doing? Is he... Is he puking? Or, oh no no he's smoking he's smoking weed all right that's cool where is it I know it's in here excuse me mrs. Tell Tell lagger oh pardon me Jeanette am I in your way I got so distracted looking through my purse for my little calendar there never is enough time in the day you know I know what you mean I know exactly what you mean. There's never enough time to do everything you want to. Yeah, this, this music's cool. I like this. Heck, I don't even ha have enough time to pay my rent these days. I seriously think I'm done for this time. Where's your roommate? Things, uh, didn't work out. It's just me now. Oh, did I break up with my girlfriend? Is that what happened? It's a shame, really. You're such a good kid. Tell you what, if you need some money, why don't you come by my place later today? I'm hosting a little get-together tonight, and the place needs to be spotless. It'd be lovely to have some help. Thank you. Thank you for the offer. I can use all the help I can get. Well, you know where to find me. Just come by any time today. Don't wait too long, though, or I'll get it all done by myself. Have a good day, Jeanette. I hope you find what you need. Okay, so I, I gotta go by her place later today. For sure. I should I, I'll spy on her. She Ew! What are you serious right now? Is she she's banging some young dude? Oh my god. Holy shit. Alright. This game. This game is deep, man. Cheap ass landlord. That light's been a problem for months. Oh, the light just went out. Alright. That's cool. Sounds like the landlord's on the phone. With these lights off, I might be able to, s to slip out of here undetected. Oh shit, now he found me. Hold it, you mangy punk! You really think I wouldn't notice you just because the lights are off? I had that clap-on, clap-off thing installed last week. <laughs> the clapper? 
Just where the hell do you think you're going? You're in a lot of trouble, punk. You're a whole month late on your rent, and I'm not in the business of sheltering deadbeats. Are you gonna pay me with what you owe, or am I gonna have to toss your ass out to the curb? You're serious about evicting me, huh? Give me time. I just need some time. I've been waiting on a check from my publisher. As soon as it, is arri as it arrives, I can pay you. Look, the check's going to be here soon. It's got to be here soon. Did I just... Did I just check my mail to see if it was here? Just give me until when the mail's been delivered, okay? I don't care if you've got to go call your sugar daddy. You're out of time, little girl. Pay me $500 by the end of the day, or you can consider yourself officially homeless. In fact, you know what? Hand over your key right now. You can get it back from me when you pay your bills. Shit. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? I told you to hand over that key. Um... Well, if I run away... He's just... He's just gonna go into my apartment. Fuck. I mean, I might as well... He's the landlord. He... he has his own key. Nah. Fuck it, I'm gonna run away. Screw you, man. You're not getting my key. What are you gonna do, deadbeat? Just run away from all your problems? How's that been working out for you? I'm out. I don't need this shit. You're an asshole, you know that? Catch you later, old man. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> well, okay, the thing said that there's no right or wrong, so I figured I'd just do that. Hey, Jeanette. What's going on, girl? I'm good, Bellinger. Hang around like usual, I see. I've got no need to walk around when I can see the whole city from right here. Sounds productive. That dick of a landlord wants $500 for rent. He even wanted me to hand over my key. I said screw it and ran out on him though. Dang, that sucks. Well, I'm broke, so I can't help you with cash. I did find this rare Indy Haraz figure in the trash this morning while I was digging for breakfast. It's probably worth a few bucks if you want to pawn it off, or you could try and get all 60 of them like me. Bellinger gave you a station wet. Okay. Thanks, Belly. At this point, anything helps. If you ever get lost, come see me. I know these streets like the back of my red golf shirt. <laughs> I guess he must like wear that every day. Man, the music in this game is is awesome. I really like it. This is cool. Um. Okay, I I I just I didn't know you could call anyone. We might as well, right? Let's call Darkef. Let's see what Darkef's got to say. Oh, Darkef's all hip looking. Hey, you've reached the king of good times. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If this is Viper, I'm screening my calls. Cut it out, because I'm not answering. Alright. So, alright, I guess I can travel, or like, look around town. There's an old, there's an old bum here by the trash bin. Hello there, fine lady. Uh, alright. Is that blood? Oh my god. I don't know, I'm just going in here just to check it out. What is this place? Vagabond Dog. A robocat from the Vagabond Dog hit arcade game. Cold Line Toronto. Like Hotline Miami, huh? Hey there, name's Nigel. Or Nigel. Do you work here? Uh, no. I just kind of walked in. I've been looking for the guys that run this place. I heard that they've got a neat little game idea they've been making. Yeah, I can't help you with that. I'm just passing through and wandering into any building I can. They're probably down at the coffee shop. If there's one thing that's certain in life, it's that game developers love coffee. I mean, who doesn't like coffee? Oh, I can play the video game? Alright. Let's see what happens. Oh shit, okay. Don't hit the frogs. Oh shit! I'm supposed to run over the people though. Alright. Run over people but don't hit frogs. Got it. Oh my god. This is hard. This is harder than it looks. Justice served. I got a 95. Avoid the cats. Okay. 
Oh shit! Oh no! You are top cop, new high score. Nah, I'm not gonna play again. Well, if that's the high score, then nobody's been playing that game. Um... What? Nine... What? I have no idea what I just did. Oh, okay, that's a, a safe. That's a combination to the safe, I guess. You found Indy Hera's figure number 48. Alright, that's cool. So I can, like... I, I guess I should collect them. I could sell it for money, too, apparently, but... Uh, I'll see. I'll try and collect them. Low-rent indie hipsters. Um... Driven MOBA with... What? Alright. Oh, I, I have no money. Okay. I, I literally have no money. Alright, I gotta... I gotta make that money. I gotta get that work. What's up, dude? You know, you look a little familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Were you one of them child TV stars or something? Alright. Um, should I talk to the dog? I should try to find that dog some food. Let's check out this place. Oh, oh, it's a bar. Okay. Oh! Oh, and here's my... Okay. I didn't realize that I, uh... Had a menu. Alright. At least I have some food. Can I give the food to the dog? Or does it need dog food? I don't know. Let's check out... What's this building? Okay, this is the bank. I don't really need to go in here, though. Well, maybe I can check my bank account? I'd like to withdraw some money or check on my account or something. <laughs> okay. Uh, I might as well just use the ATM. Fuck it, let's use the ATM. 1119 is my pin. Oh, that's her birthday? November 19th? So she must have broken up with uh, Ariana, I'm thinking. Well, it's gonna make me do it, too. Okay. Welcome, Jeanette. Oh my god, that's horrible. 13 bucks? Can I withdraw that now? Or does it have to be in multiples of 20? Alright, cool. At least it didn't uh, charge me like $2 for using the ATM. I hate that bullshit. Okay, I can pawn off these action figures if I really need some cash. But, uh... Hey girl, you admire my ride? <laughs> no man, your ride sucks. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet truck if I do say so myself. Maybe we could take you for a spin together sometime. Who the, what? Who is that, dude? Yo, hit me up later, I gotta go. Who's who's this loser over here? Hey, hey, welcome to Dirty Don's Popcorn Stand, where I sell fresh popcorn and absolutely nothing else. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I guess he's a weed dealer. Know the popcorn trick? It's where you take a, ba a bag of popcorn and you cut a hole... Whoa, the popcorn trick? Let me stop you right there. Dirty Don invented the popcorn trick. In fact, it used to be called the Dirty Don Maneuver. What happened? Why did the name change? Man, it's a long story. Let's just say there was a year-long legal battle with the Dirty Sanchez guy, so I was forced to rename it to Popcorn Trick. Well, if you think about it, the name actually makes more sense now. Ha, I guess you're right. Thanks, kid. You made my day. Hmm. I have no idea what the popcorn trick is. Who's this dude? Doesn't it make you sick knowing just how many pathetic sheeple are walking among us? Oh, that guy's all emo. Fuck that guy. Convenience store? Alright. 
Someone ate half a snack cake and put it back on the shelf. All right. Let's see what they got at the store. Ooh. Probably, uh, yeah, I need to get some cigarettes. Are there any... Can I get... Oh, there's the dog food. Oh, and it's $10? No, I can't spend $10 to feed that dog. No way. How much are cigs? Cigs are only two bucks? Where is this Toronto? Like, do they live in... Is this in, like, Canada or something? This game seems like it would be Canadian. Yeah, let me buy some smokes. Oh, did I buy it? Oh, wait. Okay, I got reds, but I should've... Should've gotten lights, actually. I should've gotten the the naturals. Alright. I'm good. Let's get out of here. Alright, there's a lot to see right now. Man. It's kind of, I'm kind of like overwhelmed. Should I just... I should just go... Should I just go and do the, the mission? I mean, I don't even know what her mission is. Hey, there's a gas leak, so I can't let you pass. Should be cleared up in a day or so. All right. Um, can I talk to the pigeon? No. <laughs> it makes a noise, though. Is this guy homeless, too? Aw, uh, that sucks to be you. Is that where he lives? All right. I'm kind of curious about that bacon barn, but... There's like so much to do, like, there's a cookie factory, let me talk to these, these hoes. This is the hottest club in town, I've been lined up all day long, I'm not moving for anything. Hey cutie, you look like a girl with good taste, what do you think of my new dress? It cost me a fortune, but I think it's hot. Um, yeah, it looks great definitely worth the money on a body like that. Oh, I like the way you talk. My name's Haley, by the way. So, um, I was looking for someone to do me a favor. I don't see why it couldn't be you. Well, that depends on what you need. You know Dirty Don over by the pawn shop? I heard he's got these tabs, happy pills, I think he calls them, and that, that makes you feel like you're having the most orgasmic sex with God. <laughs> <laughs> you're having pills that make you feel like you're having sex with God. If I give you like $50, could you go pick some up for me? I know it's silly, but I don't want to lose my place in line. Deal. Alright, how many pills should I ask for? I should buy you 10 pills, so bring them all back. I might even share with you if we party later. Alright, I want to party with Haley. Have some lesbian sex with Haley. Wait, there's one more thing. Don's got some trust issues. You're gonna need this. A sealed envelope? Uh, what's that? It's just a little message from me to him, you know, to prove you're cool and not a cop and all that, right? Well, obviously. Keep it sealed until you see him or he'll be suspicious. When you get there, open it and read it out to him. Simple stuff. Gotcha. You have fun waiting in line. That's not much of a line. There's only like two people there. Is that a cop? Hey, out of my way. I've got places to be. Should I do that? I should do that now. Okay, he's like right here. Uh, yeah, popcorn. And he's like making like that little motion with his fingers. Wow, this game is this game is very detailed. I've got this envelope or something from this girl I'm supposed to be seeing you for. Well, what are you waiting for? Open it, damn it! You open the sealed envelope. It says, "Well, go on, read it, read it." I like big butts, and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. That's when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Whoa, buddy, that's enough. 
You don't have to sing the rest of the song. I know why you're here now. What the hell was that? Oh, uh, all my orders come come as hip-hop lyrics. Helps keep the cops from figuring things out. That sounds like you need some happy pills. Sure thing. Now what's a girl like you need happy pills for? They're for a friend. I need $50 worth of them pronto. No problem at all. I was just thinking though, how would you like to save 30 bucks? Same number of pills and everything. That math doesn't add up. What's the cash? Oh, nothing shifty or anything like that. They're just local artisan pills. They're made from these eco-friendly toxins. I'm no genius, but I'm pretty sure that toxins aren't all that safe for human consumption. Yes, but I also said eco-friendly. It totally balances things out. Well, I guess that makes sense. Hmm. Shit. I want to make that money. Let me fuck over that, that stupid hoe. I'll save the whales. Well, if I don't save the whales, who's gonna? I'll take the stuff made from the environmentally friendly toxins. Oh, I got fake pills. Right on, save the whale, save your money, that's what it's all about. Yo, I'm totally ripping that girl off right now, oh my god. Does that mean I can't have lesbian sex with her later? Let's see what happens. So did you get the stuff yet, honey? I wanna try a happy pill before the show. Yeah, I got the stuff, hope you like whales. Whales? I love whales. They're my spirit animal. Was there any change? Nope. No change, unfortunately. Just make sure you take these with some friends around. You know, just in case anything happens to you. Fuck yeah! Awesome. Ugh, I feel like dog shit. What the hell did you give me? <laughs> now just wait for it to kick in, girl. They haven't ki You feel like shit at first, but they'll kick in and then and then you'll feel like you're having sex with God. What do you mean invest in a sandwich? I'm trying to focus on a sandwich. I haven't eat eaten in at least seven days. Sorry, no. Fuck off. Right, I'm gonna play I think I'm just gonna try to play this game like a badass hoe. I'm gonna be a bad- I'm gonna be a bomb ass bitch, 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 I'm a bomb ass bitch, bitch, bitch. So I'm like ripping off girls and like running out of my landlord. Uh, this is that game developer again. Maybe these are like the real game developers. Metaphors. It's all about the metaphors, man. I saw them at the party too, I remember them. Um, what's the prize? A chance to win a prize with every cup you say. What's the prize? Another cup of coffee. Okay. What's something else? Yeah, I'm, I'm making that money. I want... Hmm. I don't need anything right now because I've got like... Dirty mackerel and cheese sandwich. Nah, I've already got food. Like, on, let's check this again. I've got a p I've got three pizza pouches. Although I have to put them in the microwave. But I got three pizza pouches in a sandwich. So I'm good with the food. Should I store my money in the ATM machine? That's what. That's what I'm wondering. Or is it better to have it with me, but I could get robbed. I, I don't know what happens. Like, I don't know what's going to happen in this game. Should I go in that apartment building? Nah, I should just go in here, right? Because this is where that dude works. I can only help you if you have an appointment. Uh, that might be okay, never mind. Okay. I thought, okay, where is that dude, that that writer dude that mailed me? I'm wondering, like, where does he live? Does he live at Regal Apartments? Should I be here? I don't think so. Okay, some magazine. Boats and Hoes! I like that. Boats and Hoes. That's a perfect name for a magazine. I don't want to be here. I don't have anything to do here right now. This music is pretty hot, though. 
This music's bumping. Alright. So where do we need to go? Let me talk to this guy. I can't seem to catch a break with that blasted lotto machine over there. I must have lost at least $100 by now, but you gotta spend money to make it. That one over there beside the ATM. Should I spend money on the lottery machine? Nah, no, fuck that. I'll just look at it though. Let me look at it. Should I purchase a card? Nah, fuck that. Five dollars? No, I don't, I don't have the money for that. Yo, welcome to Dubstown Dick's Pawn, Sh Pawn Plus. Take a look around. I could buy a pawn sandwich for six bucks. I mean, that's kind of shady, but... Um... Can you collect all the yarn balls? I don't know if I'd want to. What the hell? High definator? It's only a dollar. Let's get that. I don't even know what that is, but it was a dollar. So, fuck it. We get those samurai swords. I saw some samurai swords back there. Um, but anyway. I wanna I wanna figure out how to help the dog, but I don't I don't wanna spend money. I don't wanna spend money trying to help the dog. Ah, you know what? Fuck it. What else am I gonna do with my money, right? Might as well go to the grocery. Oh, this is the grocery store. Okay. I can go to the butcher shop. Um, or I could buy flowers and stuff. I don't need flowers right now, but I, if I ever do, I'll, I know where to find it. And then, ooh, here we we got some uh, some raw meats. That's cool. Or I guess I could just buy groceries here. And I know they must have like... Okay, here's some dog food. It's 10... Ooh! Wait, I can I can just buy dog treats. I can buy like two of them. Alright, let's see if that works on the dog. Hey there, little doggy. How are you doing, girl? I brought you some food. That a girl. Just come, a, just come a bit closer now. Give the dog food. What is that? Looks like that dog dropped something. The locket the dog was wearing fell off. Okay. Can I like? Can I look at it? I mean, what does it say? Okay. Maybe it'll come in handy. I've had a lot of good memories here at the Phoenix. Dark Calf should be waiting for me inside. Uh, get to work. Whoa, lady. We ain't open yet. Excuse me? I said we're closed, woman. We're expecting a crew. Where's Dark Calf? Look, I'm working here today. Is Dark Calf around? You're the ditz that everyone's been waiting on then. Dark Calf's in the main room, so I'd get my ass over there if I were you. I'll just stand here and watch you from behind. Oh, shit. Alright. Um, and the dead rise. You're late, too. Did Benny give you any trouble at the door? No, he let me right through. Some bouncer he is. How have you been? You pumped for the show? I'm nervous. Really nervous. This is my first big show since I split with Viper, and I don't know how well it's, gonna, it's going to go without her. I know what you mean. Not a day goes by where I don't wonder how different my life would be if she hadn't left so suddenly. Jesus, we're on this shit again. Look, Ariana left you, what, a year ago? It's time to move on, don't you think? You're right. It's just not that easy for me. 
I don't know if you've noticed, but life's been kind of shitty for me ever since she left. How long are you going to blame her for everything? Seriously, you've got to take some responsibility. Remember, she left you because of what you did. You know what? Fuck you! Not all of us are happy to be rid of our ex. Not all of us dated self-destructive junkies. What did... What did she do? What are you talking about? Did I cheat on her? I don't know. All I'm saying is that since I left Viper, I'm really I'm realizing how it's the choices we make that define us. Am I worried about the choices I've made? Totally. Am I terrified that my music's been shit since I quit? Sure. At least I made a choice, man. You'll be fine. Everyone's really proud of you for getting off that stuff. All used to be an addict, huh? Not everyone, man. Seems like my fans prefer when my sound's all fucked up. Part of me thinks they're right. Nah, that's, that shit's no good. They're wrong. That's nonsense. Everyone's just scared of change. Your manager makes a lot of money from you. I'm sure you sound fine. I appreciate it, but you haven't heard me since I kicked the stuff. I'm just nervous is all. Kinda wish I had some to calm my nerves. Ah well, my burden to bear. Here's the layout for the equipment. Try to follow it exactly. I've got enough to worry about tonight. Since you slept in, we don't have any time to redo anything, so make sure you get it right the first time. Alright, am I gonna have to remember all that? Okay. I think I got it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. The gear's in these boxes here. All you've gotta do is put the right stuff on the stage in the right place according to the layout. Seriously, a monkey could do this job, so you'd better not mess it up. Get it done perfectly and I'll give you a hundred dollars. Oh, fuck yeah. Money seems to be hard to come by. Like in this game, like, I think you're gonna, you have to like, try and, um, and get money, like, to like, survive. Oh shit, I have to move all the stuff, huh? Alright. Alright, we'll take on this task in the next episode, but thanks for watching, guys. Um, please like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time around. Peace!